Internet censorship is a worldwide phenomenon. As technology improves and we are able to process large amounts of data very quickly, many countries have begun to use these advances to selectively control or block the information their citizens or residents are allowed to access over the Internet. The ability to selectively censor content is made possible by the structure of the Internet. All of our online activities, including the websites we browse, the emails we send to family and friends, You've got mail. and the files we download, send data to and from our computers and servers located all over the world. The internet routers used to transmit this information are owned by companies and governments, each of which can modify or block the traffic at will. Even with protections such as encryption or proxies that conceal our data or the services we connect to, advanced machine learning and deep packet inspection techniques can identify the contents or nature of internet traffic based on timing information and data sizes. At the University of Waterloo, we are building systems that thwart internet censorship. We disguise traffic so that it can slip through a country's filters and firewalls. We have recently developed a system called Slovene that takes traffic from an uncensored, overt web page and replaces the images and videos with censored content. Slovene makes censored traffic statistically identical to browsing allowed sites. Slovene not only provides users with content that is blocked in their region, it also protects them by hiding the fact that they are evading their country's censorship policies. By making the internet free and open to bloggers, reporters, and cat enthusiasts around the world, we are fulfilling the ultimate goal of communications technology by promoting the exchange of art, ideas, and perspectives.